guys. Uh, welcome to the Yellowwood blog. Thanks for watching slash reading. Um, I actually feel super self-conscious uh, doing this particular blog, but it was done as a request by a girl who I've gotten to know a little bit who lives in Thailand as a missionary. Um, and I can totally relate to her question. And she wanted to know what sort of makeup I use while I'm traveling. She lives overseas and when she comes back to the States, she goes into the pharmacy or whatever and just gets overwhelmed by all the choices. So she ends up leaving empty handed and she doesn't know what to get. And I can totally relate with feeling overwhelmed and from one blonde haired, blue eyed girl to another, if you are looking for some good products, I do have some that I've really liked and used for a long time. So the first one that I use is the Garnier Moisture Rescue Gel. It looks like this, and I put this on before I put on any of my makeup, or I mix it with my foundation to create like a tinted moisturizer if you just want a tiny bit of coverage. So I really like this. It doesn't make your skin oily or greasy. It doesn't make me break out. It's just like a little bit of refreshing. Next, I use L'Oreal True Matte Super Blendable Makeup in W3 Nude Beige. Um, I have warm toned skin, so a problem I have is a lot of foundations that I get look really pink on my face, and there's like a line that shows up where you've stopped. So, um, so yeah, I really like this one because it has a nice yellow tone. Sometimes, like I said, I like to mix them together so it makes like a tinted moisturizer. Um, so that way there's no like places where you can see you stopped. I just kind of blend it in my neck, rub it in my hands, put it on, and like my makeup routine every day is like three minutes long. It's really, really short. Okay, so then I do a little bit of contouring, which if you don't know what contouring is, it's basically like putting blush, but a dark type blush or bronzer underneath your cheekbones because I don't really have too much of cheekbones, so I like to make it look like I do. And I have CoverGirl True Blend Minerals Bronzer. Um, and I think it's just a one color. It's pretty dark, obviously it's kind of broken. I just use a teeny, teeny, teeny bit and I kind of blend it in right here. When I do use a blush, I use this blush, Contouring Blush Instant Cheekbones, and the color has kind of worn off, but it's CoverGirl, and it has this three toned in it, and it has a little bit of a shimmer, and I do like it a lot, and sometimes these can double um, as an eye color as well. I don't know. Maybe, I guess. Um, all right, before I put on any sort of eyeshadow or anything, or even if I don't wear eyeshadow, I do have Magic Decrease Eye Primer. So basically what this is, is you put it on your eyelids before you put on any eyeshadow or eyeliner, and it basically just keeps it from smudging. Because I know a big problem, especially if you're traveling, if you're in human places, if you're on airplanes, you wake up or you get outside and you have these like creases everywhere. And when you try to wear makeup to look pretty, you end up just looking kind of horrific. So, um, so yeah, uh, a primer helps a lot with that. And if you just want to wear this all by itself, it kind of gives a really light shimmer. Um, without being too makeup-y, makeup-ish. Um, when I wear eyeliner, which I'm wearing right now, I don't wear it all the time. I found that the purest, the blackest black 171 L'Oreal 24 hour infallible eyeliner. I got it mine um, on Amazon. So it's basically just L'Oreal 24 hour infallible and you can get it in different colors. It comes with this little brush. You can do it really light, but if you do want to go glamorous, you can go like really thick and do like the cat eyes that you can do. Um, I've had this for quite a while and I really like it. It's the only eyeliner I have and I haven't really found any reason to find a new one. All right, next for mascara, for years I've done the Voluminous um, by L'Oreal as well. I basically just stick with black. Sometimes I do a curved brush, sometimes I do a straight. I don't really care. I also have the waterproof if I'm gonna be in the water. Um, best mascara ever. I've used it for a long time. And like I said, I have no reason to change. Um, obviously I like L'Oreal. Uh, if I do wear a powder instead of a, a liquid thing, liquid foundation, um, I have this one as well. Instead of in W3, this one's in W2. So in the winter, I wear this one when my skin's a little lighter. Um, I don't know if you just want a little bit of a different sort of coverage or if you're in a humid place where your face is going to be really, really shiny, um, then this helps a lot. So, and for lip color, I've had this for a really long time. It's just a super basic 
basic lipstick and it's Revlon cream 130 in rose velvet and if I do wear this I just put like a dot on but usually honestly I'd like a dot on and then kind of rub it in but what I usually just wear is the Burt's Bees dark tinted uh, chapstick so it's just is like a little bit of a color but it doesn't really have too much because I don't really know how to wear like real makeup like full face of makeup everything I just kind of do the same naturalish sort of look every day same thing all the time um, for eyeshadows I have the Maybelline the nudes palette um, and I like it because there's all the different colors there because otherwise I get overwhelmed having to pick single colors so I use this for if I do anything whether like coloring my eyebrows or if I want to do I don't know anything I just use this and it's all right with both of these things, they're okay. I would recommend um, the Urban Decay Naked Palette and the Urban Decay Eye Primer instead, if you can get them. I think they sell them at like Sephora and Ulta. Um, I don't have them right now because they're kind of expensive and I'm kind of frugal, but I do recommend them if you're looking for something a little bit better, a little bit more quality. So. There you go, that is, my, that's all the makeup I own and I really do like them, I use them all the time. So if you're looking for some makeup and you're traveling and you wanna know what works on the go, especially if you have a similar type of complexion to mine, um, I just wanted to share with you my secrets. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you get some good travel and adventure and I look forward to talking to you later, bye-bye.